Yo, sa panibagong video ulit for hydraulics at para sa video na to ay mag-solve o mag-compute ulit tayo ng mga problems about pumps. So, ito ay base dun sa naging discussion natin para sa pumps sa water supply engineering. At sa mga hindi pa nakapanood ng video lecture ko tungkol dun ay ilalagay ko yung link sa description sa baba. Tara! So, ito yung problem. Problem number 3, a pump discharges uh, 250,000 gallons of water. So, kung papansin nyo, Initially, binigay na no, dun sa problem yung volume no, na na-withdraw na water in terms of gallons. So, 250,000 gallons daw yung na-withdraw na tubig ng pump. So, yung capacity or the capacity of the pump is 150 gallons per minute. So, sulat na din natin yung mga given habang binabasa natin yung problem. So, first ay yung volume, which is 250,000 gallons. So, given na yung capacity ng pump o yung flow rate capacity by 150 GPM and the total dynamic head is 35 meters. So, yung... Flow rate capacity is 150 gallons per minute per GPM. So, uh, pati yung total dynamic head, yung TDH, o yung head added by the pump is uh, 35 meters. So, sabi dito, the cost per power consumption is 9 pesos per kilowatt hour. So, lagay ko dito, na yung cost per kilowatt hour oops, sorry balik ko sa blue cost in kilowatt hour is, uh, per kilowatt hour is 9 pesos okay 9 pesos per kilowatt hour so ang tanong dun ay or yung required is we need to determine the total cost. So, yung required oops, is the total cost nung uh, operation. During the operation uh, and considering yung pump efficiency daw given na uh, is equal to 60% and yung motor efficiency daw para dun sa pump is uh, 70%. So, kailangan nating i-compute itong total cost no. Dun sa operation knowing na ang na-withdraw dun sa buong operation na volume of water is uh, 250 gallons. And so compute natin yung total cost no which is yung yun yung required so ngayon uh, base tayo dito sa ating mga given so sa ating solution sabi yung pump daw ay merong given na flow rate capacity na uh, 150 gallons per minute so ngayon uh, since given naman yung Uh, flow rate capacity as well as yung total dynamic head in meters ay makompute naman natin yung uh, water horsepower. Pero given na rin din dito yung pump efficiency, so ibig sabihin na makompute na rin natin yung uh, brake horsepower BHP o yung power uh, input para dun sa pump. So, Maliban doon, given na rin yung motor efficiency. So, since given na rin yung motor efficiency, makukompute din natin yung uh, motor horsepower o yung power input naman para dun sa pump. Whereas yung power input, input sa motor, ay yun yung uh, power consumption no, sa power system. yun yung isusupply na power no? ng uh, electrical power system para mag-operate yung motor. So, ngayon, 
Ang kailangan nating ma-compute, syempre, since input power ng motor dapat para dun sa uh, required na power consumption, ay compute natin yung motor horsepower o yung power input dun sa motor. So, kung babalikan natin, ang formula for uh, motor horsepower is uh, yung brake horsepower over yung motor efficiency. Whereas, uh, brake horsepower is equivalent to uh, Q in GPM. So, dapat in terms of GPM yung Q times total dynamic head in feet all over 3,960 multiplied to the pump's efficiency. So, substitute lang natin. Ang ating formula ay MHP is equal to PHP, which is Q in GPM times uh, TDH in feet. Meron pa nga tong times specific gravity pero water naman yung fluid. Kaya 1 lang din yung gagamitin nating specific gravity over 3,960 times pump efficiency. So, kung mapansin nyo dito sa formula ng MHP, meron pang motor efficiency. So, multiply lang natin yung dito sa denominator times motor efficiency. So, ayun. So, since given naman yung Q in GPM, kaya lang yung total dynamic head natin ay hindi in terms of feet. So, pwede natin i-convert itong 35 uh, meters into feet. So, para ma-convert natin yan sa ating calculator, that is 35 meters. So, shift, uh, convert. So, input natin yung 4 para sa meters to feet. That is... Uh, 114 114.82 So, i-round up na lang natin sa, sa nearest whole number. So, yung usually kasi, yung usual kasi na pag-specify natin sa total dynamic head, kung i-convert natin it, yung meters, no? or yung in terms of meters, dapat naka-whole number din tong total dynamic head. Kung ayaw nyo naman, okay lang din. Pero, Uh, mas maganda to kasi mas mataas yung value niya kaysa dito sa 114. Pero depende sa inyo. Pero ako, i-round up ko na lang siya sa nearest whole number. So, ngayon, uh, pwede na nating i-substitute no? itong mga values dito. So, MHP is equal to 150 gallons per minute times 115 feet over 3,960. So, multiply natin sa pump efficiency which is 60%. That's 0.6 times 0.7 o yung motor efficiency. So, yung compute natin na MHP, since MHP nga ito ang magiging unit natin ay in terms of uh, horsepower. So, Input natin sa calculator, 150 times 115 over 3,960 times 0.6 times 0.7. So, ito yung uh, value ng uh, motor horsepower. So, di ko na muna i-round up. 10.3715. HP. So, ngayon, uh, ang kailangan talaga natin ay yung cost. No? Pero, ang unit no, para dun sa cost na binigay no, ay per kilowatt hour. So, ngayon, since yung power natin ay ang unit ay HP, convert muna natin to into uh, into kilowatts. No? So, kung maalala nyo, ang conversion factor natin sa 1 HP in terms of kilowatts. So, yung kilowatts ay 0.746 kilowatts. So, ayun. Cancel out na dito yung HP. So, multiply natin itong, na-compute natin na answer. 
to 0.746. So, yung MHP, so, ay, sorry, yung uh, input power na lang, so, hindi na pala to uh, MHP, so, input power na lang natin sa motor ay 7.7372. Kilowatts. Ayun. So, ngayon, uh, kung papansin nyo, yung unit ay in terms of per kilowatt hour. Pero yung na-compute natin na power ay kilowatts lang. So, kailangan may ma-multiply pa tayo dito na uh, hours, no? Nung uh, duration kung uh, gaano katagal ginamit yung pump. So, ngayon, uh, ang unit lang naman natin or yung property natin dito na merong uh, function ng time ay yung flow rate or yung flow capacity which is in terms of gallons per minute. So, kailangan lang natin makancel out dito yung volume no, para matira lang ay uh, kung ilang minutes. So, since Q so, since Q is equal to uh, volume over time then time is equal to uh, volume over Q. Hindi <laughs> nakita. Wait lang. Yan. Volume over Q. Yun. So, gawin lang natin yung total volume na in terms of gallons ay uh, i-divide natin sa Q. So, diretso ko na sa calculator para uh, <clears throat> Para magkasya dito sa ating space solution. So, yung volume natin is 250 gallons. 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, 250,000 gallons over kung ilang uh, gallons per minute. So, it is 150. So, yung magiging unit natin dito, since gallons per minute, ang matitira doon ay minutes. So, malaman natin kung ilang minutes uh, yung naging operation. So, yun ay uh, 1,666.66667 minutes. So, since ito ay in terms of minutes, uh, pwede nating computein yung per hour. Since uh, ang kailangan natin is per hour. So, para makonvert yung uh, minutes into hour, eh, divide natin to sa 60. Kasi ang equivalent ng 1 uh, hour is 60 minutes. Ayun. So, ilang oras yung... So, yun ay uh, 27.78. 27. So, yung time na na-compute natin is 27.78 hours. So, gawin ko, multiply ko lang to itong time dito sa kilowatts para makompute natin yung kilowatt hour. So, yung uh, yung power consumption is equal to 7.7372 kilowatts times uh, 27.78. So, ayan. So, multiply ko to sa 7.7372. So, ito na yung na-compute natin na uh, total consumption in uh, kilowatt hour. So, uh, that is 214.92 kilowatt hour. Ayun. So, itong na-compute natin ay pwede na nating i-multiply dito sa ating uh, cost no? per kilowatt hour. So, yung total cost, oops, sorry. Yung total cost ay equivalent sa 9 pesos per kilowatt hour. Multiplied to, kung ilang kilowatt hour, 
yung na-compute natin, that is 214.92 kilowatt hour. Ayan. So, cancel out lang natin to. Then, yung total cost ay equivalent sa. Multiply ko lang to sa 9 pesos. So, ito yung naging cost na. Para mura lang siya. 1,934.3 pesos. So, ito na yung cost nung uh, operation ng pump knowing na ang na-withdraw uh, o yung na-discharge ng pump is 250 gallons of water at uh, given na rin yung cost which is 9 pesos per kilowatt hour. So, kompleto naman yung required na data para makompute natin yung power input para dun sa pump at yun, makakompute natin yung value ng total cost ng operation. At yun lang para sa video na to. Sana may natutunan kayo at see you sa next video. Thank you so much.